I'm glad you guys are back. Hey, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. One of the things I'm going to do today is something I did on my live chat. And if you don't know, sometimes that live chat pops up. I open it up to the public and it's called It's That Time Again. So what I did is I was dressed up slightly like a pirate. I'm not right now. I've got my little lucky hat on today. So what we're going to do is a flint lock gun. So it's two balloons with a scrap but usually you'll end up using just the remaining balloon of your gray balloon 260 that you're going to need and it will help you tie in that last little bit for your flintlock gun. Quick line work version of a flintlock gun. Alright guys, so two balloons that you're going to need is a gray 260 and a brown 260. So let's pull out a brown 260 and let me find my gray and a gray 260. The first thing you're going to do is blow up halfway your brown 260. Go ahead and tie that off. So what you're going to need is to make about a five finger bubble, then a pinch twist and a small one finger pinch twist right there, okay? I apologize. See if I can do this right. Okay, so a five finger bubble, do not put a pinch twist there. Bring it back down, go ahead and tie it in, and then go ahead and make a small one finger bubble here. Okay, then make a second small one finger bubble. And lay them sideways like that. So you have it like this. Now, a flint lock gun has a curve to the handle. So we want to make sure that we get that curve in there. Go ahead and just make it about five or so fingers long and you're going to break it off. And that's all you're going to need for the wood part of that flint lock gun. Go ahead and trim up your design. This this cutter is very old. I've already it's it's a replacement from from my uh, gig setup cut. There we go. There. So we have it like so. Go ahead and set that aside. Then you're going to take the gray 260. And it blow that up halfway. So you have a very long tail. Now, you can do it one way. You can go ahead and trim this off and just use that as that. But you can also use a pinch twist in there if you want. Let's go ahead and just add a pinch twist in there. Or not a pinch twist, but a um, tulip twist. And then you got about two fingers down. Go ahead and twist. And let's just push that nozzle right back in there so that it can stay. If you feel like you need to, you can take a bit of the scrap later that you're going to use to tie the uh, tie the um, the muzzle part of the gun down. So we're going to go. Uh, you got to do the pre-measurement, and we're going to go about right here, just right where that is, and you're going to then twist, and that is about six fingers of a bubble. So that's uh, one, two, three, three and a half inches or so, depending upon how long you, you did your, your width. So you just want it off like that. Then we're going to do a small one finger bubble. Then you're gonna do a spacer bubble. Then you're gonna do another small one finger bubble with a pinch twist. So it looks like this, okay? Then you're going to bring it back over, make a one finger bubble, bring it back around, and tie it in there. So now you have a bubble on top and a bubble underneath like so. Wrap it around a few times. Like so. Go ahead and break that off. 
Now, the only thing you need left, okay, I kind of lost, lost a little bit. You just need a, a little bit of an air. Tie it off. And what you want to do is make a pinch twist. So if you can hold on to it, keep the air in there, that sort of thing, let some of the air out. So what we're going to do is bring it down close to the bottom. Leave a little bit of a nozzle there. Or if you want to do the pinch twist up here, where you tied it off, all the way up. Make a one finger bubble, wrap it around, and twist several times. Then take the remaining little bit and tie a knot. So that pinch twist does not come undone. Now, all you need to do, go ahead and let all the rest of that air out so you just have this as a pinch twist. This will also be your trigger. Okay, so then you take your brown, stick your trigger down inside, like so. Take this, and you're gonna wrap it over and slide it down in between. Wrap it around that pinch twist. And now you have your quick and easy line work version of a flint lock. Well, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you have some fun. And as I always say, practice, practice, and keep on practicing, because I want to see you as the next great balloon twister. Have a good day. Bye-bye.